And hello everybody, welcome back to Playframe. And Dark Souls Remastered, Co-op Edition. Haha! -ha! Yay! Dan Jones is not with us exactly right now, because we're kind of both making our way out of Blight Town independently. Uh, there's no reason for us to kind of both make that journey together twice. That seems to be no point. But before I head out, there is one thing I need to do. Because I equipped a ring. Uh at the very start of this game, specifically for this meeting. Because if you get the old witch's ring as the gift at the start, you can understand a certain character who you could not understand before. <laughs> what if she was just like, hello, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you found my ring. <laughs> <laughs> who is that Zelda character who's like, oh, thank you. It, oh, oh, it's, uh, the, it's the Wind Waker. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's the guy. <laughs> What if she had that voice, though? Also, sorry, Dominic is outside revving his head off and has been for like half an hour. I don't think he's going to stop, so we're just going to have that in the background. Enjoy. Oh, dear. What have we here? Are you a new servant? I am not a new servant, Eggman. Although, yes, I am. Actually, no, I am. That's what you want to hear. Mm. But you have no eggs. Yeah, definitely say yes or else we got to kill him. And then there's the old maggots and... Yeah, that's a whole thing. That whole thing. Okay, he's letting me through, though. And there's a bonfire, which I will gladly take. And there she is. The fair lady herself. The last time, she did not have much to say, but with this ring on, we should be able to hear her. No. <laughs> Quayla, what is it? Hmm. Quayla, my dear sister, the eggs, it hurts. They've gone still. I am afraid it may be too late. I am so sorry, dear sister. So this is just, like, it's cool having this bit of lore and this bit of, like, character hidden in here that you must... I think the ring's the only way you can hear her, unless there's some other, some other like, qualification you can meet by joining her covenant, but, like, it's just one more very sad, tragic story tucked away that if you do all the right things, you can hear a bit more dialogue and get more sad. Yep. <laughs> That's your reward, I guess. Uh... Are you sad enough now? <laughs> Cry, damn you. Now, <laughs> here's another question. We're, like, you and I have been thinking about doing some, like, taking some alternate routes through this game than we did, than I did on my side quest run, like, uh, seeing if we can talk to Kath this time, me bringing this ring down here so we can hear, uh, hear, I forget what her name is, uh, the fair lady talk. One other option that exists that I don't know if we want to do is do we want to try to give her all of the humanity we need to open the door to alter Solaire's storyline? Yes. We do. Well then, uh... Uh, how much humanity do you need? Because I also dropped Old Lady Jingles off on me. <laughs> well, that'll help because at some point I think we're going to need 50. Also, whoa! I just found a glitch. Cool. I... It's a, it's a shame I don't have that on my camera to show what happened. Yeah, what happened. I know. Um, so I'm I'm hanging out by Sen's fortress, and I was uh, I was poking and prodding at the little snakes, and I ran back to the bonfire, and one of them followed me, and the second he got to the door, he just uh, fell through the floor. Oh, well, cool. It's nice of him. Like he didn't die. No souls. I haven't rested the bonfire, so like the corpses are still here, but he's just gone. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> so here, so here is the deal. I am, uh, I'm not gonna join her covenant right now. But hey, Dominic, I'm not gonna <gasps> join respawned. her covenant. Just this one. <laughs> what? What is going on, Dark Souls? <laughs> That's so weird, Dark Souls. Yeah, I'm not gonna join her covenant right now. Uh, I've got other ones I'd r much rather join for much of our playthrough, but. Uh, I will try to slowly hoard humanity as we play, 
And if we've got enough around that time, then we'll see what we can do about Solar Friend. I think they also quality of life that as well. I think you can give multiple humanity at a time now. That I appreciate that. Definitely. And the same way that I appreciate you can use multiple soul items now. Yeah. So nice. Lots of nice little things. Before it was like, just sell them. <laughs> I don't even want to waste the time. Yeah. Now also, like some of you may have noticed, you can now hear other people ring the uh, second bell down here, as well as the first bell of Awakening online, which is not really, doesn't really functionally change anything, but I think it's neat. Yeah. I like it. Very cool. And it makes sense for like how, how, how cool it feels, you know, uh, in the church. And then it's like, oh, this one, no, you can't hear it. <laughs> yeah, especially after the Blight Town journey, like hearing more people achieving that goal is satisfying somehow. Yeah. All right, we're going to escape this Blight Town place. I believe. Let us hope it goes smoother than it did on side quests. I don't know if magic is going to help or hinder this. With bugs, it's helping. With some other stuff, like there's a firekeeper soul down here that is pretty well guarded. Oh yeah, forget that. That's yeah. like five of those toxic guys. And fire dogs. Yeah, fire dogs. It is an ordeal. No, thank you, fire dogs. I may come grab it later. I like the normal dogs because they're like super easy to read, but the fire dogs, they're just like, I'm gonna do whatever I want. Yeah. Even the normal dogs gave me a bit of trouble as a magic character, just as my physical attacks are very weak and uh, it just takes a lot of swats to kill them for me, which gives them a lot of opportunities to pounce. But yeah, I may come back for that, uh, for that Firekeeper soul later. I do want to grab the, uh, whatever that red sorcerer's set is, though. Yes. So I think I can get it on my way back up. And it is a very cool looking set, indeed. Zap! Magic! Die! Magic! Thank you. Ow. No. No. Please don't kill me. Uh, between episodes, uh, I was gonna take out the Ceaseless Discharge while I was there. And I died with 48,000 souls, so... <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, that, uh... I'm gonna be a little behind here for a second. Oh, hey, look at that. I died. I feel like you were a little ahead... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you were a little ahead of me for a while there, though, so maybe this will even it out? Yes. Still, though, I apologize. That is a lot of souls to lose at once at this point in the game. Yeah. It, I was I was being stupid, and uh, I was gonna do the cheese strat, but apparently he, uh... Either he doesn't do it, or he's got new attacks, uh, cause he, uh, he totally did not let me cheese him. That is a shame. Like, I'm surprised that that's one of the things that they, uh, removed if they did. The, uh, yeah. the, uh, kind of the spot where he can get stuck, and you can just kind of kill him at your leisure. Cause it seemed intentional, like the fact that it only took, no matter how powerful you were, if he was stuck in that spot, it takes three hits to kill him, period. Well, the cool thing is, cause, uh, You'll notice in his arena, there's like a big pit um, along the the side because that's where the lava flow falls. Yeah. And he jumps and then grabs on with one arm and then you hit oh. that arm and that's why he instantly dies because he just falls. I never knew that's the why. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. But this time he just shot out like a fire beam at me and uh, I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember... Crap. I do remember the fire beam vaguely from some past experiences i've died but i did grab the crimson set which is great hey so that's cool i guess <laughs> that's cool i guess um also uh a or b choose b b all right butcher's knife it is <laughs> I i'm curious now what was a oh styling it was the server this crimson set is uh this is definitely my flavor. Okay, let's start the journey again. Boy, you think you're good at Dark Souls, and then... And then you record. Yeah, and then you record. And especially record yourself trying to escape Blight Town. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> 
having having issues over there. It's a, we're doing fine so far. It's only one death trying to escape, and it was a death going kind of out of my way to get this armor set. Granted, I will have to go out of my way again if I want to get those. Well, not really the souls with the humanity back. Maybe I don't want to bother. I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to get out of here. But still, it, it's, uh... It's one death, and I'm still not out, so... We'll see. May have just accidentally bought too many Titanite shards. Oh well. Never have enough. That's true. Especially given how much weapon upgrading you are... ...considering doing. Yeah. All right. Butcher's knife! It is! Yay! I'm excited to see this in action. I don't think I ever used it. No, I definitely didn't use it on uh, the side quest recording. I think it has a pretty cool two-handed attack. Yeah, that's the one. I'm excited to see this. All the more incentive for me to get the heck out of here. <laughs> also, very odd. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to show you some of these because there is an interesting little moveset here. I'm very curious. Hang on, let me escape hell, and then I'll, uh... <laughs> One moment, escaping hell. <laughs> Please, Please hold. hold. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> uh, so you asked me this before, uh, and w let's just, let's just ignore the bed of chaos. <laughs> sure. What's your, uh, uh, what, what boss are you dreading the most? I'm toxic. I'm- that's what I dread oh, right now. Oh, that- you know, that's the worst boss in Dark Souls. It's pretty bad. Let's see... Am I gonna be safe up here? Can I dig for items? Nope. There's a bug. Heal very quickly. Heal very quickly again! Bug. I'm not- I'm not in the mood right now. I'm so toxic. Bug? No. Heal again. And go digging for items very fast. Very, 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 Where is it? There. Okay. Use. <sighs> why don't I have that on my hotbar? Because then you'd accidentally use it. <laughs> that's true. That's that's why I don't have it on my hotbar. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> uh, you asked a question. Yes. The boss I'm dreading most. Hmm. Ornstein and Sh Schmo, or... Ornstein, Ornstein or Steen? I think Stein is what I always said in my lore recordings. I think that's what I usually settled on. But, uh, I've heard both. Yeah, I say Ornstein. Yeah, that one does... feel nice to say. But, uh, hey, there's the key to the New Londo ruins. Cool beans. Let's get out of here. Let's see, so I'm, I'm worried about them and how they'll go. Because, like, Capra Demon went well again, which... Like... Insane. <laughs> it, which means that... Yeah, like, it's bonkers that it went that way. It also means that we're almost certainly due for... Karmic Retribution at a later date, then. So, who is that going to come from? And I wonder if it'll be one of the hard bosses, or if it'll be one that seems like it should be simple. Pinwheel takes us 36 <laughs> tries. <laughs> okay, uh, real talk, though? Yeah? Best, best boss music in the game. That is really good boss music, actually. Yeah, you're right. I- I love it, like... Oh, these two guys. It's a- it's really memorable, like, I can hear it in my head, which is not something I can say for most Dark Souls... Yeah. ...boss tunes. A lot of them sound very similar. Not in a bad way, necessarily, it's just they're not, like... Yeah. ...distinct. It's like, okay, there's gonna be choirs, there's gonna be, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of bombast. It's the ones that aren't that really stick out for you, like, yeah. like Gwen, obviously, and yeah, Gwendolyn. Also, yeah, it's also true. Yeah, it's like the boss themes that everyone remembers and that get used in every lore video are the quiet, gentle ones. Those are like the same with like uh, this is one Demon Souls boss that uh, like that music gets used a lot because it's very good. Lady Astera, I want to say. Shoot, can't remember her name. <laughs> you still haven't played Demon Souls, have you? I have not. I I've been eyeing buying a PS3 for like a few months now because I have Demon <laughs> Souls. 
but I, I don't have a system to play it on because mm. I had a roommate who had one and then I was like, I'll play it eventually and then I moved to Austin. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get you up here. Yeah. I need to visit for like a week. <laughs> yeah, visit for a week and you and I will just binge it with you playing and me spectating. Oh, it'll be so fun. It'll be very good. The dream of living near each other. All right, I've escaped the Blight Town. I am oh, nice. headed up to the Firelink. Progress is being made. What am I doing? I need to talk to the magic salesman. I need spells. One moment. Hey, hang on. Is that an emblem? No. Oh, I'm sorry. We have been on don't deal in shoddy embers like that. Hey, don't be dissing on my ember. She's trying old Smith out of the country. Anyway, uh, let's see. It's repair all my stuff. Jeez. I guess I don't really have any souls to spend. Still, let's see. Uh, yeah, I guess he just has another. I do need heavy soul arrow though. So, okay, let me let me use some items here. Hang on. There we go. Heavy soul arrow, mine. Fantastic. That may hopefully help on some bosses, at least the ones that decide to leave me alone long enough to cast heavy spells. A lot of them seem very interested in me when we fight. Like, yeah. Quailog would not leave me alone. There's a lot of, uh, not only, like, situations with bosses I want to see spells with, but, like, just spells in general, because I don't know a lot of them. Yeah, I need, to, I need to make a point of buying as many as I can so we can see a lot of them in action. I'll probably be doing a lot of grinding off camera to make sure I've got access to all of them and can give them all a good spin. Best I can, anyway. Also, okay. I didn't... I don't know if I actually mentioned this uh, when we were playing or if it was off recording, but I'm gonna try to do a faith build with this guy for some, like, Paladin Cleric stuff. Ooh, sweet. Oh, and I see Lawtrick has been busy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So much for resting at this bonfire. I guess I'll head on over to, um... Hey, how's it going, guy? Did you ring the second bell? I did. That is incredible, I must say. But now, we have a new problem. It's noisy. Oh, that's this right. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. It was just... There's a Frampt over there. Oh, look at him. Anyway. Okay. Uh, I'm learning things about the butcher's knife that I really, really like. Are you now? It's not great on damage, but it staggers like every other hit. That's good. I I'm excited to see this in action as soon as I get over there to meet you. Uh, just, just for example, I just fought the mimic. Yeah. And, uh, just kept r wanting it, and it was fine. That's, like, very good. Right? Not... At all was I was expecting. I was just like, can I just keep stun locking him? And I did. <laughs> Turns out you can. Okay, apparently I told Laurentius the long the wrong answer here. Hang on. Oh really? What it Laurentius, stop changing the order. I told you yes the first time, oh, and that's not what you yeah. wanted to hear. Then you said no the second time, it's still not what you wanted to hear. He mixes it up. He mixes it up. Yeah, wonderful. There we go. Okay. Wait. I kind of love that. <laughs> I didn't invite you back to my Firelink Shrine for riddles, bud. Thanks for the thing, though. I'll buy combustions just in case we run into more slimes or whatever. Ooh, good point. Goodbye, then. Come back if you find anything new. Well, Laurentius is a good egg. Mm -hmm. Good fellow. Okay, let's... Let me get over to uh, Andre's area here. <laughs> Snake friends tried to follow me. How to go? They all died. <laughs> I see. Just <laughs> get rid of the spider shield. I do not need it right now. That sucks. I died. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What did you die doing? Oh well. I was just wasting time. Yeah, sorry it's taking me so long to get up there. I am. Uh, Making my way back through the Undeadburg to get to, uh... To get to Andre. 
It is all good. So I'm going to look up how many, uh, humanity or not humanity. Is it humanity? Oh my gosh, humanity. Yes. Uh, we need for, uh, a certain quest line. Yeah, I think it, I want to say it's 50. Well, I have 40 on me. That's pretty good. Yeah, I guess on a first time run through, 50 seemed a lot more daunting. There's also a few NPCs if you kill them. <laughs> Give you stuff. Not naming names, just, you know. Not naming, but my entire Firelink Shrine. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was wow. trying new things out, you know? Yeah, you were. So experimental. The, uh, the lady cleric, she drops seven humanities. Dang. Right? It's worth it at that point. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see what Petrus is on about now, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dude had the right idea. Yeah. Um, I need to be ranked two, which means... Oh, 20, uh, 30. We're good. You only need 30. Oh, you only need 30? Mm -hmm. Cool. That's wonderful. All That'll right. be oh. very easy then. Okay, we can totally do it. Yeah. I'll save uh, those to drop later. Yeah. Fantastic. Run, 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 run. Past everything. Just a sprinting mage trying to scoot his way through this place. Oh, jeez. In a bit of a tight spot here that I should not be in. Yep. I'm gonna get myself dead from pure recklessness. In fact, I did. That is just shameful. Oh. Well, at least I rested a bonfire nearby. Sad, though. Tragic. Sad that's on camera. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's how that's how I feel about half the deaths. It's like as long as no one sees it, it's okay. I guess I won't run through recklessly. I'll shoot things with magic or whatever. Guess I'll use my magic. Gosh. <laughs> Life of a mage. <laughs> Get so tired just instantly winning all the time. Is there like a like in in any like uh movies or shows where there's like a magic character who just like hates using magic <laughs> there must be right right i feel like it's it's a trope but i don't i can't think of a character to be honest i can't off the top of my head either and that feels weird it feels like something that should jump immediately to mind yeah same Ooh, also, I just picked up that uh, XP ring for all the extra XP we'll need. <laughs> <laughs> We're only doing the bosses twice. Ah. Yeah, that is definitely helping our soul count. Whoop. It's not helping our soul count the way we're dying a lot, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes things happen. They do. And you, uh, get curious about that swinging axe. <laughs> you gotta go investigate it with your face. <laughs> and what were your findings? Uh, it hurts. It is sharp, in fact. Interesting. That is... Those are interesting findings. Um, Good science you've done. Okay, I got another thing. This is, uh... uh not what we're fearing, but in Souls history, in mm. general, even Bloodborne, what is your favorite fight? Not necessarily the best boss, but your favorite fight. Interesting. That's tough. Um, hmm. Hmm. Maria is up there. For sure. She, like, I don't know if you got better or, like, if your impression of her is better or worse for the fact that you beat her on the first try, which is just so frustrating. But even though I lost... Felt pretty good. <laughs> I lost to her so many times, but I did not feel bad. She's just such an amazing boss fight. Uh, it is... It does feel like duels are a lot of the most fun fights at the end of the day. Like, Artorius, uh, a lot of the night battles in... Three, 
Uh... Yeah, those are the ones that I feel like I remember a lot better. Mm-hmm. I am gonna go ahead and say Maria. I just think she's just darned cool in general as a character, and the spectacle on that fight is out of control. Yeah. I don't know, what is your absolute favorite boss fight? Uh, you know, I've, I've, I've been thinking since I asked, and I honestly might go with Yorm. Ooh, Yorm, yeah. Uh, they're, Like, it's a gimmicky fight, but it's so cool. Like... <laughs> You get this awesome sword that's only usable, in, and it's such like a like uh, giant's mask for Majora's Mask thing, where it's like you can only use it in this one room. Yeah, but I just felt so cool, and like the the tension of going in the first time and uh, uh, not having it, and like trying to equip it mid battle. Yeah. Also, if you get uh, Sigward in there, it's you know full of feels. It's true. And that, that alone might be one of my favorite Souls moments of him coming in the fog door with you. Because you don't see that very, like, almost ever. Yeah, like, I think that's the first summon that's not you bringing them in the world. That is, like, he happens to exist in your same plane for that moment. Yeah. No, I, I can see why that would be a favorite. There's a, there's another another gimmicky one in three, but I, I'm having trouble placing it, if you hmm. recall. Let's see. It's not gimmicky, but I just remembered the dancer fight, which is also really cool. Dancer fight's very cool. Hmm. Think, think, think. Another gimmicky fight in three. Oh, my memory. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm struggling thinking of anything right now. Hmm. I don't know. By the way, I have made it to Andre. Just, uh... Oh, excellent. I am going to Homer Bone, then. Fantastic. Got my souls back. Yay! <laughs> made, it, made it through Sen's Fortress twice just to get my souls. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see, I guess I need to run past the Titanite Demon out into uh, Dark Root to summon you. Oh yeah, that's probably the best bet. So let me scoot on by this fellow. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Oh, do I have like a soul I can pop? I'm like less than a hundred short from leveling. Twice. Yeah, don't hit me with that stick. How much damage does my magic do? Out of curiosity. It's actually not too bad. And he's yeah? shooting magic at nothing, so I'm going to keep hitting him with the magics. Zap. Zap, I say. There we go. Fireball. Okay. I successfully leveled up. I just had like less than a hundred from leveling, so I was like, I really don't want to waste that many souls. I know that feeling very well. Ow. Hey, got him. Oh, speaking of leveling, what what level are you? Tell me tell me your all about your stats. Uh let's I'm running away from the demon real quick. Um sure. Also sign is down and I am 38. Hey, not bad. I am 38 also! Look at that! Hey! Okay, it, it was fate for me to die to the Caesar's Discharge. <laughs> and I got intelligence up to 32, which is not bad, could be better. I do need to keep on working on attunement slots, endurance, and dexterity for casting speed as well. I'd forgotten about that. But, uh... Anyhow, I need to beat human. Dan, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Can't summon unless I'm humans. Gotta get that fast roll. I should probably up my endurance so I can get a little better armor. Because the, the the butcher's knife is surprisingly heavier than the black knight sword. <laughs> yeah, and you've already got Havel's ring on, so you're not getting that <laughs> that load lightened anymore. Yeah. Although I guess if I kill a law trick, we always got that. It's true. But that's a ways off. <laughs> Uh, just for the record, Lawtrick also killed my Firekeeper. I forgot to kill him. <laughs> it's just as well you'd... <laughs> you'd done the job onto most everybody else in Firekeeper. Yeah. He was really was just tidying up after you. Yeah, it's weird. I, I'm curious if, like, he just didn't show up. Because, uh... I thought I cleared it out. <laughs> <laughs> you villain. I didn't kill, uh, the, um, the mage... Uh, guy or the the fire guy 
pyromancer guy. Oh, okay. So you can like buy stuff from them later. Yeah, in case I want to play with a spell Use or them. something. <laughs> Although I guess you can't drop spells, can you? I don't know. I don't. I'm not gonna do it right now, but can you? I don't have any, so I don't. No, you cannot drop them. Okay, so I can I can kill him, I guess. <laughs> Look at that butcher's knife, though. Aha! Uh -huh. Yowza! Oh, so here, uh, so, um, this is the one-handed strong attack. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's just a little run and then slam. <laughs> and then the, the two-handed. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a good one. It'll be so nice seeing that done to an enemy instead of me. Yeah, I kind of want to just try that out. Well, here's your chance. Hey. <laughs> All right. It works. Might not have been worth it. Ooh. I have like a little um marker. A marker? On my HP bar. Huh. Is your HP bar full? It is, yeah. Weird. Maybe hmm. That's very interesting. I don't know what it means. Me neither. There are definitely still some little mechanics to this that, uh... Maybe it's like a, uh... Like, balancing thing? I guess? So it's like, oh, you have too much HP. That could be, actually. I think instead of, um... I heard somebody in the comments say, although we're at the same level now, so I don't know why that would make a difference, uh, that if... Since we are using, like, passwords to join each other's, uh, game, they... The calculator, the, like, the level limit calculator turns off in that case, but they do, I think, reduce the level of the, uh, way too high level person coming in, or something. Okay. Or something. Grab that item. Wait, there's an item? Why did I miss the item? Oh, I guess I just didn't want to get near the cliff or something. It's hidden behind the rock. I see. There's so much more exploring of this area that I'd... I guess I did go back and do it after my first run through it. <laughs> Look at you. There was a, uh, a lot left to explore in this area that I think I eventually did do. I didn't know about this bonfire in my first playthrough. That's rough, because, uh, it's a pretty good bonfire that I... Can't use? <laughs> I wonder, can I not use it because of... Because you're here? Or can I not light it because of that weird bug that was making bonfires light late earlier? I don't know. I'm just going to assume that it's not allowing me to. Let's, let's just assume that. And move on with our lives. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah. Also, uh, next, next one of these uh, little plant guys that pop up. Uh huh. Uh, I'm just gonna kill these three real quick. Um, I want to show you just how good this thing stagger is. I would love to see that. It sounded pretty great. Oh, there's one. Okay. Like, yep. this is just a one-handed R1. That is keeping him pretty busy. Yeah, he didn't even have a chance. He just was like, stagger, stagger. Insane. I see the appeal. Yeah. It doesn't do that much damage, like, I mean, compared to some of the other swords. But dang, like... Oh yeah, the weird tree. And I can swing it quite a lot before I'm tired. A very, very weird tree. Jeez, that tree is weird. I want to say hi to my friends. This is Billy and Bobby. Are you starting trouble over there? These are my best friends. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, they are weak to magic, turns out. <laughs> you guys, jokesers. <laughs> <laughs> I love how many just, like, for a zone that is not the most important in a lot of ways, that's just sort of a neat little place you travel through a lot, there's a lot of weird one-off one enemies in here that... Yeah, right? Like, weird living trees you have to kill, snakes on a couple of trees that don't do a whole lot to you, but you don't see those anywhere else. Like, like there's not even loot for you to grab on this just, guy. Like, yeah. why would you even bother... <laughs> It's just a weird double-headed snake thing that's just yeah. here. Just hanging out. And then you got the frog uh, lily pad things. 
Oh yeah, those two. And of course these fellas. The slow knights, which I hate these by myself. These are like my least favorite enemy in the game. Yeah, co-op though. Co -op, Not too bad. I should go grab that uh, elite knight set that I'll never be equipping. Not ever. Oh, hey trees. Hey knights. I'm sure we can deal with this. Oh, oh. I'm sure everything I'm is die. going to be I'm die. I'm die. perfectly fine. And nothing will go wrong. I'm gone. It's all you. Are you actually dead? No. <laughs> okay, good. I was very worried. I couldn't see you. <laughs> Magic seems to be doing very well against these folks, though. So. That's great. Um, I also told Dan I've got these guys' uh, greatsword dropped for me. Um, on the original Lady Jingle. So, I'm gonna try that, but it needs 40 strength, so that'll be a bit. That is a lot. Alrighty. I think we're about set here. Alright, yeah, this what's is the name be... of, what's, what's the name of the summoner? I'm not gonna summon her, but what's her name? Beatrice, Ooh. that's right. Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna try to Google it and look smart. <laughs> 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 Could not think of it. We're gonna be fine. I'm all the magic we'll need. Really hope I don't die after making that big proclamation. Yeah, this is gonna be all you. Ah, that good music. Oh, butterfly, there you are. Looking lovely. Butterfly in the sky! <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss? Stop missing. Ow. And take a look. It's yeah, I'm not loving this slow cast business. <laughs> or this near dying business. You Yeesh. are. You're getting chewed yeah. up. I'm okay. Let's see. Do yeah. I, can I throw something at her? Whoa, now that's a big beam that I don't remember. I, I think it was because I was just standing still. <laughs> no, it's hit me again. I'm not doing a great job at being the mage of this fight, but it's coming down now, so you can uh, you can do your thing. Heavy soul arrow. Boy, these are slow. And I'm not hitting it? I don't seem to be hitting it. Oh, jeez. I should dodge. Yeah. I'm being a very bad mage. Stop it. Ow. Throwing dagger. Throwing dagger. <laughs> <laughs> Stop hitting me with the spells. Jeez. I thought this was going to be an easier one. I actually died. That makes me sad. Boo. Overconfident <laughs> is what I've been. I regret everything. Okay. All right, hang on. All right. Are we ready for a take two? Yes. This time I will not die to the majestic butterfly in the sky. It can go twice as high, though. I would appreciate it if it stayed closer to the ground, then I could maybe shoot it with magic. Make sure you take a look. It's in a book. You know, if only I had some reading material while I was waiting for it to come in range. Okay. It is actually harder dodging it when you're trying to hit it with spells at the same time and not just evade. And it bums me out that I couldn't really hit it with spells very easily from the, uh... When it was, uh, <laughs> parked. Are you throwing knives again? I'm shooting my crossbow. <laughs> Crossbow. I'm taking part in the fight. An active participant is what you are. Whoa, it stopped so early. It did. I'm just gonna point blank range it a bit here. I'm still, I don't feel like I'm doing anything. I'm gonna stand back, not get caught in the blast radius. There we go. Get hit. Spells. Magics. Don't hit me with a beam. Meant to roll. Didn't roll. This time, though, I'm gonna dodge the beam. Damn it. <laughs> how you, how you doing over there? I can't dodge the beam, Dan. Is my problem. Are you kidding me? I died to the butterfly twice! <laughs> uh, we're, we can't, we can't we're end not, the episode till it's, it's not, dead, man. <laughs> we can't end until it's gone. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, hang on. All right, third time it... Wow. 
That is a crossbow, all right. It's a heavy crossbow with 11 bolts. <laughs> <laughs> Third time is the charm. Let's do this. Oh, hey, my souls. Hey, butterfly. What are these little, like, uh... Side sparkle things. It reminds me of Neverwinter Nights. I don't know why. They're they're cheesy little effects. Ooh. Ow, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just stand in front of you <laughs> with a shield. Hey, tank. I don't know if this does anything. I'm neither. I'm curious. Also, I have a wooden shield and it's not protecting against magic. Okay, well, <laughs> it was a nice thought. It's heroic of you. I'm really paranoid about rolling here. I don't know why. Like, I'm worried about falling off the edge, and I probably shouldn't oh, be. Oh, you can't. You, you, you cannot. Good. Hey, it's coming down. That's great. That's just great for us. Heavy soul arrow. Magic just doesn't do anything, I guess, while it's here. I'll swat it with you. Oh, crap. Nope. Roll, 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 roll. The other way. I'm just doing everything wrong against this, uh, butterfly. Do not kill me, please. It also just really doesn't like you. It, it could care less about me. That's true. My 23 damage crossbow. Here we go. Okay. Ha! I dodged it. It's a Christmas miracle. Die, please. Uh, there he goes. <laughs> I don't even feel, like, satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want these souls. Uh, I, I am glad it's done, though. Let's go ahead and grab this here ember, I think is what it is, up top. And then, uh... Yeah. And then we will call it for today. My voice is shot. I've been recording so much stuff today. <laughs> and I didn't even record everything I wanted to. I just... It's been a busy day. Busy. Busy day. Busy day. Also, so fun putting out stuff daily on this channel. Sorry, what were you going to say? Um, I don't know if uh, we'll be recording um, before, like, like, if I'll be able to read these comments for these episodes before the next time we record. But it could be a fun thing. Um, comments, how about you choose what I use? <laughs> oh, like choose what weapon you equip? Yeah. Okay, okay, so before before we end, give them a list of what you have available that they can choose between. All right, all right. So, so obviously we've got our, the, the Black Knight Sword, the Stone Great Sword, Zweihander, uh, and the, uh, 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 what am I using now? Butcher's Knife. Um, I also have the... Great Axe, the Dragon King Great Axe, which I don't think I can use, so maybe don't choose that one. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll uh, get there. Lightning Spear, Halberd, uh, Gargoyle Tail Axe, if you want to be mean. Uh, I have a server, <laughs> the Uchi Gatana, and uh, that is oh, a Claymore. Boy, you are equipped. That's it right now. It's a lot of good options. All right, comments. And the Drake sword. <laughs> <laughs> and the Drake sword. Comments, uh, I'm going to let you start voting down there. Uh, in the event that it looks like we're going to be recording before this comes out, I don't think we will, but just in case we do, I will post like a poll on Twitter or something. Yeah. Or if you guys are like, yo, when you get this item, use it. Like, I'll, Okay, I'll, yeah, or I'll if you guys have anything too. you want them to get to. If... If uh, he, we don't get the comments in time for this next recording session we do, we'll get them by the one after that. So your, your votes will be counted eventually. Yes. So put in your votes, make your choices. <laughs> Thank you all so very much for watching us fight the butterfly three times. That was fun. Yeah. And I'll see you all butterfly. next time. <laughs> what a tough... <laughs> don't patronize me, Dan. It's a tough it's fight. <laughs> you know? You gotta roll uh, and... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye, everyone.